Hey guys, Amy Lou here. Hello. <laughs> Today I am going to show you how to do a fly trap. So like a Venus fly trap plant. I love them. I think they're amazing. Uh, if you can support my channel and subscribe, that would be awesome. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do portrait. Portrait. So we're going to do a portrait because we want to fit the whole plant in. Mine actually isn't going to be the whole pot. So if you want it further up, then you can do it further up. But I'll show you what I mean. Basically, I'm going to start my pot there. But I reckon if you want your pot to show up for the whole pot, we can just move it up. So let's I'll show you what I mean. So get your pencil, portrait paper. And we're going to do a shape that looks much like a yummy pancake. Can't go wrong with a pancake unless you don't like pancakes. Now, this is the bottom of the pooch. It's lean in my... Um, my artwork because it's quite easy then to use it so think pancake if you want more of the pot do it smaller and move it up a little bit more just move it up a little bit more right I'm gonna do this line line it's basically a flower pot in the garden I'm smiling because it's sunny normally but it's raining outside today so we're going to join it up like that. I always like painting um, flower pots in the summertime. I just find it really fun because you can like paint insects on it or do whatever you like on it. So it's really nice. Now, you know, you've done this little bit there. What you want to do is just move over and go down. This is where you can draw the whole pot if you like, or just a bit of it. So I'm doing the same this side. So what you do if you want to draw the whole pot is just continue down. Do you know what? I'll show you on this piece of paper. I did an ink splodge. It looks kind of cool, doesn't it? It's like red paint. So it would be like that. So it would just be like this. Make sure this bit's like a smile because then it looks more 3D. So that would be your pot if you wanted the whole pot. So what we want to do now is, I like the idea. I think it's quite cool that you could do a pot like cracked. Obviously some people might not want to. But you could draw it like that. I just like the idea of doing little details. I might even draw a little ladybird. A little ladybird. Keep it simple, unless you want to do it difficult. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to keep it simple because I don't want to make it the feature of the picture. But there's my little ladybird. <laughs> and then, I don't know about you, I love caterpillars. I think there was one on my arm once when I was small and it was it just made me really itchy so I don't know why I love them because they're not they're not the best in the sense of they make me scratch so I'm just doing this type of shape and because I haven't drawn all all of the pot I'm just gonna stop it and then you want like a little head and I mean the caterpillar can just be however you like. I'm going to do some W's on its back just so it's got like a pattern or a V or something and a bit like the hungry caterpillar you want to do little leggy bits. I like the idea of that. So I'm going to shut the window just bear with because I've got this boot on because of my ruptured Achilles so I've just got to close the window because it's raining outside. And all you can hear are cars going past. Okay, let's go. Wow, it's a big plant pot, isn't it? Right. Now, the Venus fly traps. They're so cool. They really are. So you're going to decide where to put them. I want to draw the heads of them first. So I'm going to do one here. So I'm going to go... Can you see the shape? Reminds me of a segment of an orange. It's kind of like a rainbow in a cross. If it's hard to do that, do this. So there's the stem, and then you do this. That might be easier for you, but this one's just a, a weird shape. This one's kind of a strange shape. That's why I started. It looks like a quaver, doesn't it? I've just realized. And then we're gonna do one there. 
and then we'll do one that goes kind of rounded it looks kind of cool we're gonna have to rub out some things as well i wonder if i've got a rub somewhere isn't it uh, right now you can make them into a cartoon that would be quite fun you can make them into faces but i'm just going to keep this simple just for now and then up to you to build on it so we're going to go and then this one wants to be 3d and so does this one so i'm going to go up across this one's going to go like that where's another one there's quite a few more actually i want to do one that goes like this and this reminds me of an axe for some reason like a like um it's not an axe it's one of those you know what you cut wheat fields with in the long time like a long time ago oh it's on the tip of my tongue write it on on the video just so i know it's <laughs> safe or something anyway you're gonna do this now the moment they look like quavers with sticks on. So what we want to do is make it look more like a Venus flytrap. First, I'm going to do some big ones here. So we're going to do this. Just ignore the line underneath. This one there. Go like that. And then don't even worry if it looks strange. It's completely fine. I think I drew one there, but I'm not sure if I want to. Right. Now, all you're going to do is draw the stem, as in you've already drawn it, but you want to draw like a line in it. That goes down. Right, it's really, it's really nice actually because the stem has thickness to it, but then it's also got like a wobbly line. It's, the, I suppose you could call it the leaf. Kind of a leaf. It's a bit like, um, a cactus. It's like, it reminds me of a cactus. It's not, by the way, <laughs> but it reminds me of one. Right, so all of this, just think quaver, stick, wobbly line that's like if you think of it like that it just doesn't confuse you otherwise you end up getting quite overwhelmed and it can get a bit tiring so as long as you've got something like that that's fine now this bit it's up to you to decorate because what i'm going to do is whatever is here so any of your bits that you've drawn let's just rub them out people rub them out away we can so Whatever's in front, so pause the video if I'm going a little bit too fast, I don't mean to. Any of the back of the pot will be covered where the stem is. So if you've got a stem, you don't, you wouldn't see the back of the pot. I was thinking of getting some fishes the other day. I like the idea of getting a like a glass pot and putting them in the fit, uh, putting the fish in there. But I don't know if it would be so good because you need a pump and everything really, don't you? But anyway, it just reminded me of the fishes. Okay, right. Now, now you can't catch anything in the little, you know, the little plant. They kind of do this. They kind of just open up like that. And then a little fly goes in there or whatever. And it goes like it clings like that. And then it just, the neck, like the neck to the, the whatever it is, the sticky juice attracts the bug and then the bug goes in and then close it and it eats it the bug it digests it so what we need to do is draw you could draw them like this i think it looks more realistic if you do that so it look better but whoa you want them really like spiny so you don't want them like giant triangles like mine's trying to turn into isn't it <laughs> You could just do this but i don't think they look as good if i'm honest and I, I don't think you do either so have a go i personally think if you're if you're scared to try something with this picture just give it a go the worst that could happen is you don't like it but you can rub it out and try again you know i'm getting a bit confused now Mine's getting way triangular. Whoa. Oh my God. 
It's really hard. It's really hard to actually. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're good. Quite like that. Right, what I'd like to do, I'm not sure what's happening now, it's like a more like a green leaf. What I want to do is I really want to draw coloured pebbles. I had this really cool smoothie the other day. It, in the bottom it was like bubbles and then when you eat it, it kind of, they're like burst in your mouth, they're like little bubbles, they're so cool. So I am going to draw something like that. <laughs> they're obviously not, but I want to draw kind of colourful stones. What's so fun when you're drawing is you're creating your own picture that you like. So it doesn't have to be, oh no, I just did the wrong bit. It doesn't have to be what someone else thinks is realistic. It could just be something that you like. So I probably wouldn't have coloured bobbly bits in my flowers if I had some at home, but I'm going to put them in here because I like them. And they look kind of cool as well. I like that. Okay, so this is my my plant. Right. I'm going to use... Ta -da! I've managed to put foil on it because I keep getting everything messy. But you, I'm going to use paint. But you know what? You can use anything. Like, I quite like chalk, but I think we all know I like chalk. <laughs> Most of you know anyway. Right, I'm going to mix yellow with a bit of blue because I want to make a really fun green which isn't really happening for me hang on I'm gonna use so get a green you want like a primary green really you know like a really fun green I'll show you what green I've got so I've got this green it's really nice to get different types of greens so I'm gonna cover my green my um plant in green and you know what's really nice you don't have to paint all of it you could paint you could paint the background and do the rest in chalk so you just got to wait for it to dry if you're using paint that's all there we go i quite like the idea of um outlining it and felt it before you color it in um, as long as it's not going to, like your felt tip might smudge everything, but if you've got a Sharpie it won't. Depends if you're allowed to use them. I put Sharpie on my mum's sofa a while back and she wasn't happy, so you've got to be really careful. What's good about a pen though, even like a biro, is you can still paint and see underneath. It's really cool. It's really cool. Any brush you like. I mean, I'm using this one. It's from Cass Art and it's just, it's really cool. It's, um, you can get them from anywhere, but this one I really like. So I'm going to really, I'm doing it fast just to show you, but pause the video if you need to do it slowly. Hopefully you can't hear my washing machine in the background. I don't think you can, can you? Okay, now the spiky bits, the spiky bits I would say are, and they're kind of white, but I think I'm going to do a more yellow. Where's my yellow gone? So I'm going to keep the green that I've got, but I'm going to add yellow with a bit of white. So I'll show you what I mean. Kind of like a yellowy white. I'm hoping you can see that. It's got to focus on it though. Oh, you can't see it. It's a yellowy white. There we are. That helps, doesn't it? <laughs> if you wanted to do a different coloured background, the white would show up really cool in this, wouldn't it? So because I've done it in marker, I can do it quite messy, my bits here. But they're yellowy. Just think yellow spiky bits. I've put a bit of white in there because it looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. Right, now, I didn't want to draw all of my, um, I what it's called, all of my pot. So I'm going to get a brown, 
gonna get a brown. A bit of a weird brown. I'm gonna get a brown. If you haven't got a brown, you just make orange with a tiny bit of blue. But I'm gonna get this beautiful brown. Mmm. I'm not sure if I like this brown. But I want to make it drip. So I'm just gonna get my paintbrush, lots of water on it, colour over it, and it will suddenly drip. I'm gonna keep putting water. Can you see it drip? I actually really like that effect. If it doesn't drip very much, you can just add water and touch like that. I kind of, kind of want mine to be more ready. So I'm putting the colour over the thing. I just like watching the colour drip. But yeah, as I say, to make it drip, you've got to put really loads of, loads of water. You could wet it first like this, but it drips differently then, because then you can go... Obviously, if you're doing a cr um, chalk, it wouldn't drip. <laughs> so it's just if you're doing paint, you can give it a go. It's nice to try new things. Um, so once I've done that, I would like to do a little bit of dark blue. I'm going to do a bit of shadow, so I'm going to make a dark dark green. So I've got my green that I already had, but I just put a bit of blue. So I want to kind of do it there to look like shadow. So what I do is I mix, I just paint over. You can do this with chalk as well, you can do this with anything. But you just do that, and then you rinse, dry, and then you only smudge the edges because it makes it blend, it's really cool. You can do this with anything. Obviously I've got my I've got my um tipex there. <laughs> you <wanna> see <laughs> Great. Let's do my little ladybird. Little ladybug. It's nice to have something colourful when you're doing it. Little ladybug. My caterpillar's unfortunately green, so there's a lot of green going on, isn't there? But you know, nothing wrong with that, is it? I could do like a greeny yellow caterpillar, couldn't I? He's looking a bit sad, isn't he? Bless him. Right, then let's pick some fun colours. Light blue? Let's do some light blue. So I could do light blue bobbly bits. I prefer just white. So you could just do grey. Grey around each white bobbly bit. I quite like the idea of purple, so I'm going to attempt to make a purple. I haven't got the red. Well... A, to make a purple is red, blue. I always like adding a bit of white. You wouldn't think so, would you? Because it's quite dark. <laughs> but the white makes it look quite cool. Right, do you know what? I want to keep a bit of white in there. So I'm going to do a bit of shadow. Shadow with the white. So I'm just going round with black, watery black paint. So it makes the white one stand out. It's easy when you've got the um, marker. It's easy when you've got the marker because you can see. Now, I don't want to leave loads of white gaps, so I'm just getting water on my brush and I'm just going into the gappy bits with the water. And that is it. That is my Venus flytrap, people. We can, do you know what I quite like? Splodge in the background. I mean, you could pretty much outline this when it's dry as well. I do like the idea, though, of outlining here and there. Just because it looks more realistic. Like, the more shadow you put on it, like, the more different greens you put on it, the more it looks cool. My washing machine's on spin, so apologies if you can hear that. I hadn't really thought this through. <laughs> Everything was quiet until now. There we go, a bit of dark green. I do like the idea of the drip effect. Definitely give that a go. I am going to put some splodge, like white dots on my caterpillar because he's called Cyril and he's, I quite like him. He's a cute little thing. Okay, Cyril, my caterpillar is done. I'm gonna put black on his head black there and you know the ladybird's got black so definitely outline stuff and what I mean by that is once you've finished it 
things might have disappeared so you can just outline it with a chalk or a marker or anything you like so there we have it my venus flytrap um little plant and you can create whatever you like you can put butterflies anything you like so enjoy doing that like subscribe and share and i shall see you soon bye